part of the season. How does Arkansas present different challenges? Yeah, I mean, they've got two uh, two big-time running backs. I think both of them are on pace for 1,000 yards. Uh, I think their offensive line is one of the biggest in football, not just college football, pros, whatever. Um, they're very physical. They do a great job. They're very well coached. Uh, they've got multiple tight ends that do a really nice job uh, in the run game, and they're really you know good receivers. Uh, the receivers are dynamic playmakers, uh, and the quarterback makes great decisions. Has a live arm. Uh, you know he's been around football all of his life, so he knows he knows where to go with the football. He knows where to go with the running game. Uh, so it presents a, a big challenge because it's you know it's it's them and LSU that have been the you know predominantly eye back downhill you know run game, and they do a great job with it. You mentioned LSU. Arkansas does some different things with their tight ends. You know, LSU's kind of got an attached guy. So your linebackers can't really sell out completely for the run. How do you kind of prepare for that? Yeah, I mean, we were trying, the scout team's done a great job uh, trying to get us ready. But, the, you know, the big thing about going against, you know, offenses every week and scout teams is, you know, the speed of the game is going to be significantly different than what we see in the, in the uh, during practice, even though they do a great job. Um, but it's, uh, I mean, it's a new challenge for us that we haven't seen in a couple of weeks. So it's it's big boy football. We got to be ready. Okay, you talked about the one big defense <coughs> sure. played half as plus snaps as the first team, and they gave up more yardage. So Thank you for that. Did you <laughs> did you see that? Did you we see did. Some yeah, I mean, that's there? that's the first thing we saw. But I mean, we're committed to it. Um, we're committed to those guys playing. We're committed to those guys. You know, improving every week. And uh, you know, the nice thing about what the way we we've kind of structured things this season. Um, you know, when we need to get stops. Regardless of the, who's on the field, we get those stops. Um, in the last series of the game, we had to kind of close the door on Kentucky. Matt Wells gets a sack. We get pressure here. We get pressure there. And it's all those guys that it kind of, you know, played a lot, but we're still kind of fresh to go in that fourth quarter. So it pays off. You know, sometimes it might, you know, you not, might not be happy all the time, um, but the end result and the way that, you know, the season progresses and the longer it gets, you know, you're happy you're playing those guys um, and that the other guys are still fresh, you know, as the season goes along. Caleb Gills is not the most flashy guy on that defensive line, but I think he started like every game in his career. What makes him so good? Uh, Caleb is one of the finest human beings I've ever been around. Um, not just football players, uh, people, um, character, hard work, integrity. Just, I mean, you can't say enough um, about him. It's funny, the week before, um, we were in a defensive unit meeting and watching some plays of practice. And Caleb Buells and Ryan Brown are just on practice for working so hard. And I just stopped and I'm like, you two don't get enough credit for what you do for this program and enough recognition. It's nice to see a kid like Caleb Buells who has all the intangibles, the work ethic, the character, get to show it on the field what he can really do. Um, you know, he's been player of the week this year with maybe even having only one tackle. But he does such a great job for Bernard and Beniquez and Richie freeing them up, doing their dirty work for So I'm just proud of him. And, and even if he hadn't got that recognition, he would still be the same kid. He would still come to work every day. He would still have the same attitude. Uh, so it's, it, it is nice, though, that he gets the recognition he deserves. The uh, Arkansas offensive line, I think, uh, biggest in football mm -hmm. at any level. Which change does that affect, you know, your personnel, what you do to kind of combat them? Are you using different guys because of we, it? Yeah, I mean, we're kind of we're kind of structured that way because the thing that, you know, Coach Mullen and the rest of the coaching staff has done is we've recruited big people. Um, you know, you have the Chris Jones of the world, Nick James, Preston Smith, Ryan Brown, Bernard McKinney, you've got a six foot five, 260 pound middle linebacker. So we've got some big guys too, but it still poses a great challenge um, because of how physical they are. And we've got to, you know, understand that to, to play well against them, we've got to match that, that physicality. Is this a game where the technique of those linemen matter much more since you're probably not going to bull rush them to, to get around them? Or? Yeah, I, I think technique is important every single game. Um, but just, you know, the energy and the juice um, that they have to play with. Um, I think uh, last Saturday, I think one of the biggest things that was missing was the energy and the juice that had kind of made us who we are throughout the season. There were times last Saturday I didn't see it. Um, and so that way, you know, this Saturday in front of our home crowd, the energy and the juice and the you know all the things that make us who we are are very important, very critical. Arkansas uses their tight ends more than probably anybody in the league. Oh, yeah. Henry has 18 catches, Derby has 17. Yep. So uh, they use them a lot. How does that change your strategy, or what do you do to adjust? Just that? just understand that that is a that is a key factor. You know, understanding that and uh, understanding which guys do do what um, and which situations they like to get the ball to what guys. Um, so that I mean it's a it's a it's a unique challenge and it's one that we haven't seen this year, um, so we got to be ready for it.
when Equez Brown, uh, he was talking to us last week, he said he goes home a lot to his apartment, does mm -hmm. film study there, he'll carry the film home, he'll do a mm -hmm. lot of film study to get himself prepared. Right. Is that normal or is that something that sets him apart? It's funny, we were actually talking about that today in the, in the linebacker meeting room. Um, the, the way we prepare, the film sheets that we use, um, the different cut-ups that we make that are kind of unique for, for that position, um, and the, the intelligence that I'm fortunate to have in the room at linebacker, um, you know, they, they do a great job of understanding situations, seeing films, seeing little bitty things that might, you know, hopefully tip things off. I mean, you kind of see that throughout the season, them doing a good job, and I think it, it shows in their performance. How proud were you when your boy Turtle got that <laughs> kickoff and took it back? That's fine. I'm glad nobody had a camera on me because as he's running back, I'm just sitting there like I'm holding a baby, just like, <laughs> you know, go get it, Turtle, go get it. Just hold on to that football. And they dove into the end zone. I mean, it was, it was great. Uh, couldn't have happened to a better kid. Um, you know, he's put so much into this program. Um, and for him to have a moment like that, it, it was huge. And, I mean, he's had moments like that during the season where he's made really big plays for us. But that one, everybody sees him. Mean, it's on Sports Center, It's on, you know, YouTube. And there's little, you know, what is the turtle music going with it? It's, it's awesome. Um, and he, he has earned it because he works so hard. He studies. He's unselfish. Um, all the things that you want from a college football player that, to coach. He's got it, and then for that him to be rewarded with a play like that is special. He was so close to making that decision not to come back for this year, and, 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 but he did. And then, of course, now you've got a ro dragging the rotation linebacker. And he, he's, he's playing. He's playing really well, and that that young man right there is playing really well. So, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just proud of him. I'm happy that he was able to have that kind of moment on such a big stage. So, I mean, it, it's it's awesome. awesome.